Hi, this is Andrew from Synergy, and I'm here today to take you on a tour of Synergy Air Pro, our multi-channel, multi-resolution playout system. It's robust, already in use, with hundreds of broadcasters broadcasting thousands of channels all around the world. So, let's see what it can do. The first thing we're going to look at is multi-channel playout. If I select this icon here, we can see that we've got a playout running. If I select the next one, then you'll see our playout dashboard. This shows all the playout engines that are in use, and you can see each independent playout as it is happening, together with the next queued item in the playlist in the small window to the lower right. Finally, I can bring up our engine configuration window so that you can see the four running engines. This is four separate independent playouts happening on one single machine. And this machine is a laptop. If we open the task manager, we can see that there is still plenty of room for the machine to do what it needs to do. And we are getting all of these playouts, four independent playouts, on an i7-6700 with 4 gigahertz. We've seen how Air Pro can play out a number of channels simultaneously on a single server. Next, let's have a look at the control panel. We've seen multi-channel playout, but how do we control it? With the air control panel. And it looks like this. On the left above, you can see the playout that's happening right now, and to the right of it, the queued item that will be played next. Below that, you can see the tabs for each of the engines, and below that, the playlist itself. Items in grey have been played, the item in pink is playing right now, the item in yellow is queued, and the items in green are ready to play. Below that, the timeline shows thumbnails of the items as they will appear. And below that is the secondary events control panel that we'll be coming back to a little bit later. Around the rest of the screen, you can see the various buttons, timers, and clocks that are necessary to ensure the operator makes the playout happen the way it's supposed to. That's the control panel. Next, we're going to have a look at how Synergy Air caches content locally for secure and robust playout. To do that, I'm going to open the control panel up again. Now, I've reconfigured the control panel for a single channel rather than multiple channels, so the tabs are no longer visible. Also, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a column with 100% in it. That column indicates that the items being played out have been retrieved from network storage and stored in local proxy cache on the playout server itself. This means if there should be an interruption between your network storage and your playout, the playout will continue. It's worth mentioning that this control panel, which is also the playlist editor, can run on the server itself, it can run on a machine separate from the server, or it can run on any machine anywhere in the world that has network access. And best of all, it's not even necessary. Once the playlist is loaded and cached, I can simply switch off the control panel and the playout will continue. Let me demonstrate. Here's the playout, and now I'm turning off the control panel. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the playout continues and will continue until the cache is exhausted. One of the great strengths of Synergy Air Pro is its ability to work with different wrappers and different codecs without any difficulty at all. In order to have playlist automation, we need a playlist. And we make our playlists using our control interface. When it's set into playlist mode, it looks like this. We see a file browser on the left-hand side. And you will notice that on the file browser, duration, resolution, aspect ratio, and frame rate of each piece of content is displayed so that you know what you're dealing with. For Air Pro, it doesn't matter what the resolution or aspect ratio are, it will look after that for you. All you need to do is simply select the content and drag it onto the playlist. As you see, it is now all ready to play out. I can move items up and down, and I can also sort the playlist into blocks as necessary. All I need to do is save the playlist, and I'm ready to load it into Air Pro. Another great strength of Synergy Air Pro is the ability to simulcast in different resolutions with individual branding for each resolution. In order to do that, we need to configure the engine accordingly, and this is what it looks like. Here you can see an SD and an HD channel, both configured for the same engine. So what does that look like? Well, if we go here, we can see it. Here is SD, and here, after the control panel, is HD. 
But that's not all. We can also identify each of these channels with distinct branding. And in order to make that work, we need to go back to the control panel. Here, I've prepared a graphic template which puts different branding on each of the resolutions. And if I select that, you'll see the branding appear in the preview. And if I go to the playout, there it is as well. The HD channel says it's HD, and the SD channel says it's SD. Synergy Air Pro can output to SDI or to IP. So let's have a look at how we configure IP by setting up RTP streams. Today's broadcasters are increasingly turning towards IP as their preferred means of moving video and audio through their infrastructure. IP has advantages. For instance, one single cable can carry many signals at once rather than just a single signal that SDI can carry, simplifying infrastructure. IP can also be routed through conventional network switches and IP opens up the possibility for the broadcaster of leveraging virtualization and the cloud, something that SDI cannot do. In order for us to set up an RTP stream, we simply need to configure our engine. And here I'm showing you how that's been done. Here we have an RTP stream configured for playout. That means that we can send exactly the same signal to transmission and to monitoring, as I can show you here by bringing up our multi-viewer. Here you see all of our outputs at once, and these same outputs are the ones that will be going to your transmission. If you want more information on multi-viewer, you can consult our other excellent videos on the subject on Synergy TV. In broadcasting, it's often necessary to go to local content or local branding, and this is done using SCTE 35 in the Synergy world, Let's have a look at how we set that up. In larger countries, it's necessary for regions to carry different content from the main transmission, be it local content or advertising. In Synergy Air Pro, we do this with SCTE 35, which allows our main playout to be interrupted by relevant content at the right time. What does this look like? Here we see on the left-hand side of the screen a different configuration of the air control panel which includes all of the playouts simultaneously visible at once. The engine that's circled in red is the active tab from the playout control panel as you can see. Now our program will continue up until the point where the commercials will take over which is going to be another 20 seconds from now. Once the 20 seconds have passed each of the lower three playouts will switch to their local content. And that local content will last for approximately 20 seconds, at which point the main playout will resume. So let's see what happens. And here we see the local content for each of those playouts is now being introduced. And that local content will continue until it's finished, at which point we will go back to the main programming. And that's happening right now. And here we go. Our main content has returned and our programming can continue. An important part of Playout is branding. And Synergy Air Pro comes with its own branding tool, Synergy Type, a multi-layer keyframe animated tool that allows you to bring action to the screen. Let's have a look. As we've already said, Synergy Air Pro comes with its own branding tool, Synergy Type. And Synergy Type is capable of some amazing things. Let's have a look. Here in the Synergy Type editor, we can see marked keyframes. We can see the various elements that we could use. This particular template, however, is very simple. It's going to squeeze the video back, and it's going dynamically to reveal the name of the next item on the playlist. So let's have a look at what that looks like for real. I'll open up the air control panel, select the item that I want to run the template over, move to the secondary events panel here at the bottom, and insert the type template. Now when I select the type template, here you will see that the text variable or macro that we had inserted has brought up the next item in the playlist. So I know this is going to work. I'll hit OK. I'll add five seconds just for comfort. And then let's see what it looks like. 
So, here we go. Start the queued item. And as we do that, you see the next item comes up with the video squeezing back and going back into place. And that's just one of the things that can be done with Synergy Type. Synergy Studio Pro is designed for live production and uses Synergy technology to enable you to make news bulletins, talk shows, magazine programs, or any other kind of program where live video, recorded video, and graphics need to be combined in real time. It even includes support for teleprompters. This is what it looks like, but we'll be giving it the attention it deserves in a later video. So, that was our quick introduction to Synergy Air Pro. For more information, go to www.synergy.com, send a mail to sales at synergy.com, and check out the other videos on our Synergy TV channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.